Hey everybody, this is Jim Grisanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team, and I am here with Alina Yarenko. Alina, welcome. Hi, thank you. So we are um, at the very end of the day, we are here in Stockholm, Sweden, at the end of JFocus, yes. and a uh, big Java conference, very, um, very well done conference, and you're on the GraalVM team, you were here, you have a session, I saw you talking to hundreds of people. So um, I'm particularly interested in the GraalVM project, I've interviewed half the team. <laughs> Yeah, to be interviewed too, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So uh, let's start off with uh, your session maybe. What did you talk about? Yeah, I've been talking about maximizing performance of different applications with GraalVM. This is like a very interesting topic right now because GraalVM has so much to offer in terms of performance optimizations. And what is interesting, like in this one thing in GraalVM, you get this opportunity to optimize for different use cases and scenarios. So basically you get GraalVM and you can choose what's your priorities and what you want to optimize for. And also a big part of that is related to Java. That's why conferences such as JFocus are very good for us because you get to talk to people about GraalVM and how they can can use it and get all these questions and feedback for our project. Now, you guys have been working on GraalVM in the labs for years now. How long have you been on the project? Uh, I joined not so long ago. I think it's a year, maybe a year and a half ago. So I'm not of those people, unfortunately. But yeah, we've been working on it for like eight years or nine, if I'm not mistaken, because it was this huge scientific research project, one of those that we do at Oracle Labs. So, were you here last year at this conference? No, I wasn't. That's actually my first year at JFocus, and I'm super excited for it because I've heard nice feedback about this conference, but I haven't been here before. So, what were, what were some of the conversations you were having in the booth? Uh, we had different kinds of questions. Uh, luckily, many people know about GraalVM. Some of them tried using it, tried running some of the applications on GraalVM. Uh, we usually had questions like, where do I start if I want to go with this framework? Or if I want to do cloud, what should be the things I'm looking at? So mostly questions like that. So actually, that's what I was going to ask you about in terms of the, in terms of the awareness. Mm -hmm. um, because when I first joined this team in 2017, I spoke with Eric and Thomas, and it was just, I don't think it was launched at that point. I it was, remember that interview. It was on Eric's Twitter, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, yeah. Yeah, and so um, one of the, it was brand new in terms of being released. Um, but now it seems that really everywhere I go to these conferences, everyone knows about it. Yeah, I guess our team is doing a good job, right? <laughs> yeah, but we're also happy to see that many people actually try it and see some benefits for, from it and kind of talk to us about it because indeed it, it was a research project for a long time and so we are super happy to see people actually run it in production now, exploring different cases, how they can use GraalVM and, you know, getting some benefits from that. So what is your impression of this event? Uh, you know, it was just right now there was a, like a closing keynote and Matthias was asking people like what did you like the most about this event. I did not like pay attention to all the points because it was like super fast. But I think many people said it is well, very well organized and I would agree to that. Yeah, so many streams, London simultaneously, everything is on time. You can clearly understand like where do you need to go next, how do you find schedule and stuff. So it's really well organized. And the second thing that caught my attention is the atmosphere. Like it feels a lot like community event, you know, like this very friendly, very casual atmosphere, all people, and people like working on something together or knowing each other. So the atmosphere is really great. So I heard about JFocus before, never been here before, but yeah, now I understand why people like it so much. Now, do you get out to other conferences to talk about GraalVM? Yeah, 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 I do, yeah, because I'm a developer advocate, and that's part of the things that we do, yeah, that we go to conferences, speak about it, talk to people in person also. Yeah, it's pretty much what we do. Globally or just in Europe? Uh, globally, I would say, but luckily we have people in different countries, like not too many, but some people. So uh, we travel a bit, but we try to do it, you know, more efficiently and concentrate, like depending on where you are located. So it's easier for you to get somewhere. So you're in Ukraine. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Um, when you go to different areas, do you find the, pers the awareness of GraalVM the same? or is it different, different in different areas? Yeah, I would say that 
from my observation, is not depending on geography, but rather on an ecosystem. So different conferences are dedicated to different topics. And for example, a Java conference is pretty much like you can expect people knowing or like have that they have heard of GraalVM before, but we like a different events it like the this level of awareness varies. So I would say that's mostly about, you know, a kind of event on an ecosystem. But in terms of like geography, not so much I think. So what's next for Graal VM? I mean, I know you guys have, have you know, it, it's still an engineering project. You're taking contributions from the community um, on GitHub. Mm -hmm. It's a product now. Yeah. It's a tiered product as well. Um, so with different versions. Um, what's next for it? Is there anything in the horizon that we should be looking forward to? Yeah, a lot. So first of all, in the next few weeks, there is a major release coming up. It's Grow VM 20.0. So we plan to ship some very interesting features in there. And also we have a roadmap for the rest of the year. Uh, not all of that is public yet, I guess. But if you or the community would follow the updates, uh, there are pre some pretty exciting updates coming up later in the year. I was in Japan I guess in December with Thomas was there and he went with uh, some communities there and he told me that uh, previous to that there was a big community event in Europe. Um, I was wondering if you were there. I can't remember where it was though. Uh, yeah, I think you're talking about Zurich. So yes. indeed, yeah, we had this community event. We talked to various people from our community and like our partners in the ecosystem. It was super productive. Uh, I think we are planning to like write a blog post to summarize it, to share it, you know, with a wider community, what was going on there and what would be the outcomes and what would be the next steps, because we value community a lot and we would like to explore even new ways to interact with it, make it, you know, more productive and interactive. So yeah, uh, updates on that front coming also too. One of the things he mentioned that I found very interesting was this, this, there's individual contributors, obviously, but there's companies that are getting involved now, and he's, you guys need to develop a governance model, actually, to how to run the, how to actually, actually how to run the, con actually how to run the project on a global scale and take contributions and things like that. So are you involved in the engineering side or the community side or both? Um, I'm involved in everything. That's something I really like about the DevRel job. And basically every day you work on different tasks and it's never boring. So I'm involved a bit in that too. Okay, so maybe you can talk about, um, we talked about you know, the community and, and uh, you know, companies and, and things like that. Um, what about, is there anything that is interesting in terms of the feature set that is coming in the future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we are working, and that's something that will be delivered quite soon. So we are working on even more performance improvements specifically for native image. So I think many people will appreciate it because we get a lot of those questions like, I like native image, what's coming up next for it? Is that even something else that you're working on? So yeah, we are, so you can expect even better performance specifically for native image that's something coming up really soon and also we understand that like many companies uh, have their workloads in cloud now so that's another direction we will be working on uh, to make role VM work even better in those environments interesting okay well I'm glad you were here. I'm glad we fin actually finally had a chance to meet. Finally. <laughs> yes, because I'm going to interview the entire Grawl VM team in the labs. And it's not a small number of people. That's a lot of people, <laughs> like distributed all over the globe. So if you want to complete that quest of interviewing the whole Grawl VM team, that's going to be a challenge for you, yeah. Well, it'll be a fun challenge. <laughs> Elena, thank you very much for thank coming. You so much. I will see you again sometime soon. Yeah, at the next conference. Thank you. Thanks. See you guys later. Bye-bye.